Hello, Kansas. Thank you very much. Hello, Kansas. Thank you. And I'm thrilled to be here with all of my friends on this truly historic night. This is a historic night. I stand before you today on the heels of a tremendous victory for our nation, our people, and our beloved Constitution. Just a few hours ago, the U.S. Senate confirmed Judge Brett Kavanaugh to the United States Supreme Court. And I proudly signed the judge's commission aboard Air Force One just before landing. And this Monday night at 7 p.m. in the East Room of the White House, we will perform the swearing-in ceremony for soon-to-be Justice Kavanaugh, a great man. And he will sit proudly alongside Justice Neil Gorsuch, who's doing a great job to uphold your sacred rights and to defend your God-given freedom. And I want to thank our incredible Republican senators for refusing to back down in the face of the Democrats' shameless campaign of political and personal destruction. Since the moment Brett Kavanaugh was in a, and you remember this, we made an announcement, and since right from the moment we announced, Radical Democrats launched a disgraceful campaign to resist, obstruct, delay, demolish, and destroy. Right from the beginning, Brett Kavanaugh is a man of great character and intellect. He's a totally brilliant scholar who has devoted his life to the law. He is a loving husband, a devoted father, and a faithful public servant. And he always has been. Amen. What he and his wonderful family endured at the hands of Democrats is unthinkable. It's unthinkable. In their quest for power, the Radical Democrats have turned into an angry mob. You saw that today with the screaming and the shouting. Not from the 200 people or less that were, you know what? Those people, they couldn't fit in the front row. Look what we have here tonight. They threw away and threw aside every notion of fairness, of justice, of decency, and of due process. Nobody's seen anything like it. But each of you will have a chance in just four weeks to render your verdict on the Democrats' conduct at the ballot box. You will have the chance to stop the Radical Democrats, and that's what they've become, by electing a Republican House and a Republican Senate. We will increase our majorities. We need more Republicans. We need more Republicans. Over the past few weeks, every American has now seen the profound stakes in the upcoming election. You now see it. 
We have been energized. We have been energized. If Democrats are willing to cause such destruction in the pursuit of power, just imagine the devastation they would cause if they ever obtained the power they so desperately want and pray. You're going to have other Supreme Court justices, places to be filled. It could be three, it could even be four, it could be a lot. And if you allow the wrong people to get into office, things could change. They could change, and they could change fast. And we're not going to let that happen. We can't let that happen. It can go very quickly. It can change very fast. We can't let that happen. You don't hand matches to an arsonist, and you don't give power to an angry left-wing mob, and that's what they've become. The Democrats have become too extreme and too dangerous to govern. Republicans believe in the rule of law, not the rule of the mob.